Welcome to Catellus Relationship Forensics for Compliance and Risk. Catellus is the first enterprise-wide communications compliance and risk solution. Catellus can process both email server log files and telephony log files in addition to native communications such as email PSTs, NSFs and IM. As you can see at the top of the screen, Catellus then displays this data as a network. We are used to seeing communications data in lists, page 1 of 100 and 100 emails per page. To make sense of such a large volume, we need to search that data. Clearly, the search paradigm fails when you don't precisely know the keywords. In the case of log files, the communications network of the entire company is displayed, showing clearly how information is flowing within the company, between groups, and out to competitors, webmail, etc. Catellus is unique in that it leverages both behavioral science and social networking algorithms to grade the strength of relationships and activity within these networks. Displaying the data in a top-down manner greatly facilitates the investigative and surveillance process. And because of our unique algorithms, Catellus is very good at identifying the key people in any investigation, uncovering missing people, and in general, cuts the time taken to carry out a typical surveillance by 80%, making you smarter earlier. Catellus is literally deployed in days, does not need to integrate with Exchange Server, and is completely non-disruptive to the business or IT. So how is this used? Because we import the metadata of every single email in the company, Catellus Relationship Forensics is the only comprehensive approach to compliance and security on the market today. For the first time, we can significantly reduce the risks around events such as IP theft and information barrier breaches. With the same manpower, Catellus allows the entire communications network to be monitored, not just a sample, without collecting a single email. Specifically, Catellus automatically and regularly creates surveillance networks for compliance officers, allowing them to quickly detect whether information barriers are being breached, either directly or indirectly via friends in common, Catellus uncovers such risks automatically, whether restricted list policy is being adhered to, and uncovers who is speaking about watch list names, ensuring that only those authorized to communicate about certain deals are doing so. Additionally, networks can be created that focus specifically on control rooms and security breaches concerning the theft of proprietary software code or the leakage of trading strategies can be detected and contained quickly. So why buy Catellus? Catellus is the only solution on the market today that allows every single email communication to be displayed in a useful way. Additionally, Catellus uncovers and grades the relationships that exist between people, inside and outside the firm, highlighting friends in common and uncovering inappropriate relationships. Because of this, Catellus significantly reduces regulatory risk, providing compliance with meaningful visibility into the flow of information within the firm and outside the firm. This significant increase in visibility does not require more resource, nor is the solution disruptive to either the business or IT. Deployed in, deployed in days, Catellus has a low cost of ownership and quick time to value. Let's take a look at a, a live demo of Catellus. As you can see, Catellus is a single solution that can service the needs of compliance, legal and security. Catellus can process the log files from every exchange server to uncover and display the entire company communications network. Additionally, native email PSTs or NSFs can be loaded and the networks displayed. For this demo, we have loaded the Enron dataset, which allows us to show how Catellus works with some real data. Full disclaimer that all the scenarios we illustrate here are purely fictitious for the purposes of this demo. Let's first take a look at how Catellus helps measure compliance to information barrier regulations. As you can see, we have set up a number of networks that focus on the communications between groups, such as investment banking and the asset management front office, research, sales and trading. Essentially, any two or more groups can be laid out in a network and monitored. Let's take a look at the information barrier networks between investment banking and the asset management front office. Lists of people from different groups can be loaded and assigned to a group. 
Let's take a closer look at the Investment Banking and Asset Management Group. As you can see, Catellus automatically generates information barrier networks based on a schedule set by the compliance officer. We can generate weekly, monthly, or daily networks. Let's take a look at the March Information Barrier Network. This first network shows the direct communications activity between the groups. As you can see, people in each group are colored differently. Investment banking is one color, and the other color is the asset management group. You expect to see a lot of communications within groups, but little, if any, communication between groups. What you're looking at here is the relationship network, which tracks purely interactive communications, i.e. that communication that reflects people actually working together rather than pure information flow, such as people being CC'd on an email, which, would capture as, which we would capture as pure activity. We color code each connection, red, for example, being where the interactivity is strongest, and then green, blue, with gray being the weakest level of interactivity. We can immediately isolate graphically the communications between the groups and can focus in, for example, on Shelley and James, which have the strongest level of interactivity between the groups across the information barrier. We can examine the interactions more closely between these two people by right-clicking on the line that connects them and examining the actual uh, emails between them. And you can see 22 emails, 11 back and 11 out between Shelley and James. If any communication here is of concern, that email can be tagged, an XML report sent to the archive, and the email retrieved. Only those emails of interest are collected, and not all the emails associated with everybody in the group, as happens with traditional tools. Let us now take a look at a watch list network. Here, a search is conducted regularly, say weekly or bi-weekly, of the archive for emails containing the watch list terms and keywords. The resulting search results are imported into Catellus. We then display a network illustrating who spoke to whom about what and when. You can see quickly and easily in the network, for example, that Veronica Gonzalez controls the communication to a large group of people. So perhaps she handles the client side. As you can see, Jan Moore is at the center of uh, an isolated island of people who are communicating about these topics. Perhaps this is the team handling the actual issue itself. You can also focus on where the activity is greatest. By looking at the uh, filter, here we can either focus on the strong relationships. As you can see, the area where there is the greatest activity are the communications between Jeff Dasovich and James, Dan, Tim, Jeffrey, and Edward. Let's reset the network. Perhaps what we care about are communications external to the company. So let's remove the Enron uh, communications from our from our network and update the network accordingly. Now let's zoom out and the remaining uh, communications there are to people who have a light blue color and these are people external to our company. These networks enable compliance to quickly verify that no one is talking about the deal except the people who are doing it by immediately showing you who's speaking to whom about what and when. Thank you for your time. For more information, please go to our website at catellus.com or email us at sales at catellus.com. Catellus, making you smarter, earlier.